Hey everybody, my name is Jay, and we're talking about Yoshi today. If you haven't watched my video titled I Got Every Character in Soul Calibur 6 to S Rank and This Is How I Did It Yet, please do so as I'll be going through this character in the same format that I discussed topics in that video, and I'd rather not make the same disclaimers in each video. Yoshi was a pretty easy run for me, clocking in around 10 days, and a lot of fun as I love to make lots of aggressive, up-close decisions to put my opponent in bad situations. Important to note, as you might expect if you've watched any of the other videos, I didn't utilize much from Yoshi in terms of wall combos and the ring out game or any execution heavy optimal combos. Uh, this character is overwhelmingly deeper than what I'm about to be providing here, so if you like the basics I'm about to go over, you'll probably be just as excited over how much you can add to your style once you get used to the fundamentals. Block punishing, you got AA for minus 10, you got 4B minus 12, 3AB for minus 14, 6K for minus 16, and 4KB for minus 18. Yoshi's block punishment is all around strong, as he gets a solid amount of damage everywhere. You've got your AA at I-10, 4B at I-12, though you may want to stick just to AA to keep things simple to start, and 3AB for your max damage I-14, or you could do potentially BB if you want to stay a little bit closer, a little bit more sticky. Important to note, unlike most other I-10 punishes, there isn't a stance to go into after this, so it's best to just respect your frame disadvantage afterwards and just head back to neutral, which Yoshi is, Yoshi is perfectly fine to do, so you're like minus 4 here. You can also use 3k at minus 14 if you really like, but me personally, I like to keep my poking tools and block punishing tools separate when I'm learning a character, just for the sake of helping me compartmentalize information. 6k is your I-16, so you start getting knockdowns, and you can sink meter into it to make it stronger as well. 4KB, 4kb at I-18 is a bit unintuitive, uh, but still very strong damage, and it gets you into you know, a standing position if you really uh, want for setting up more pressure. Now when it comes to while rising moves, uh, Yoshi's while rising game is one of the best in the whole roster. Uh, for your super fast I-12 punishes, you've got while rising K which gives you a close knockdown, and who can ask for more for something as small as that? When you duck something a little bit more substantial, you got while rising a Brave Edge into B, into 66A plus B. Dumping meter in Brave Edges is something you'll be seeing a lot through the fundamentals with Yoshi, since he builds meter so quickly and gets the best use out of meter in the whole cast, especially when it comes to block punishes. Lots of newer Yoshis like to use while rising B for their normal punish without meter, but I feel this is a bit of a wasted opportunity. If you want to be completely amazing with a duck punish and not use meter, you can do 4kb or maybe even full crouch 3k for a solid duck punish. You can even technically get 6a plus b, but that, that's a lot more difficult. Frankly speaking, you're going to have half a bar in most situations as Yoshi, so this shouldn't come up too often. Wall Rising B should really only be used as a counter hit tool, rather than a simple Wall Rising Punish, since he doesn't really do all that much as a normal hit. If you do get a counter hit, you've got a 9k into 6k Brave Edge combo, which is pretty huge. There's lots of reverse ring out capabilities here too, uh, which you can get into once you're more comfortable with the character. Yoshi's okay, uh, Oki is set play hell. He has metric tons of safe pressure pieces and mid-low mix that goes right back into a similar knockdown with big punishes on rollers as well. The damage on each Oki setup isn't normally stellar, but the repeatability is honestly pretty, quite satisfying. The two main aspects of his Oki that are important to know first are Full Crouch 3K and 3B. These are kind of the glue of what makes his Oki so strong. 3B is important because it puts a big stop sign on anyone trying to cheat you out of your Oki. It stops mashing, it stops rolling in tons of spots, and then puts them directly into the same mix-up as before. It's certainly possible you'll run into people that will get hit by 3B two or three times in a row while they're on the ground before they learn their lesson. Full Crouch 3K can be quite unsafe, but can really put a stop to people waking up with sidesteps. This goes into yet another knockdown for uh, with a 3B or a 6A plus B, 6, to finish it out. With the assumption the opponent finally realizes they can no longer roll or mash or sidestep, all that's left is to stand block and deal with your mids. Now, once you have your opponent doing that, you can kind of do what you like. 
uh, that you would do in any up-close situation, knockdown or no. You've got your grabs, you've got 3A, 1K, 6A plus B, just to name a few options. I mean, the, the sky's the limit here, and there's uh, these Oki situations really provide you with a wealth of opportunities to find out what your opponent wants to do when they're pressured and panicking. That's really going to be the key for a character like Yoshi. When it comes to grabs, I don't have much to say on the character other than his grab game is good. Yoshi is up close lots of the time, and with the great Oki uh, comes great responsibility and comes many opportunities for grabs if that's the way you like to play. Both normal and back grabs give great Oki with non-techable knockdowns, so you can go right into the options I talked about in the previous section. Uh, I didn't go too far into his command grab options when I was playing, as you can potentially lose life if they're broken, but I should at least mention uh, the 214 grab rainbow drop that you can use to cheese people out with a ring out or two. So, a basic Yoshi's game plan can be summed up in the phrase, get in and do good stuff. I'll break this incredibly complicated phrase up into two steps. The getting in portion can be a pain on certain characters. Ivy is a popular character at all times in SC6, and playing against Ivy will mean jumping through many, many hoops over and over again to start implementing your game plan. Uh, Mitsu and Tira can also be real big pain, so they're not as common as characters. It's best to stay as patient as you can and do your best to make the walk and block strategy work its magic. I understand this works a lot better offline than online, I know, but getting used to not just winging big moves like your 6-6-A plus Bs and stuff and getting busted for it uh, will do you good in the long run. The buttons you can try to rely on to get you in is predominantly 6 k which is a huge and wide hitbox coupled with a knockdown, and once you get used to your opponent's timing and blocking it out isn't really working, you can start doing things like med K. 2B plus K into K, to give yourself a stance mix-up on block. This is a fantastic way of getting in that not a lot of people are going to be ready for at all times. Once the getting in is finished, now it's officially time to do your good stuff. Much of the same buttons I mentioned before still work great in the neutral. Full Crouch 3K is a move the opponent should fear at all times, so check to see if they're respecting it. Up close sidesteps and stand blocks would lead me to believe, if I was playing Yoshi, that this low can be used more often and I don't have to worry too much about having it blocked. The 3A string is a great pressure tool with uh, just a regular empty 3A is what I tended to do, 3AA or 3AB for an unsafe nuclear type option. Uh, 1K does work, BB, 3K spaces out. 1BA for a low with solid damage. I mean, the list of strong neutral pokes with Yoshi is kind of endless. It's hard to go wrong. For stronger pressure, when it feels like the opponent is respecting you, now it's time for 6A plus B. This move's adaptability to the opponent is at 100%. There's an option for almost everything the opponent can respond with here. The main thing you want to hit with is 6A plus B, B, 6K Brave Edge. But what else can the opponent do? if uh, they're not matching and they're not just like straight up ducking into this. Uh, you can hold the B for pressure that takes you out of the stance. Uh, 6A to catch a sidestep. You can do A plus B again for a break attack to beat people GIing or reversal edge. And you can also do K to continue the pressure with another stance. Another K in this situation will do the med K that I was talking about before. And this puts you in the helicopter stance that has a whole host of other options for mix. Once you're in that stance, you've got your B, which combos into 3BB, also safe. You've got an unseeable low K, and A to beat out sidestepping and mashing. I swear, most of my game plan with this character was just shoving 6A plus B down their throats constantly until I found an option that stuck. This kind of pressure can be quite rewarding when you've paid attention to your opponent to know what they want to do. Ways to deal with the opponent pressuring you, including, uh, it includes, like, jabbing with your AA, which you can get a Brave Edge on to counter hit for more damage. You can do the, uh, the Yoshimitsu 6, which is, like, when you're in neutral and the opponent is only a, a scrap of life left, and you just do a run-up AA. Uh, you have an amazing back dash, which also doesn't hurt. You've got so many different options with the character. Once again, th this character gets so much deeper than this. So these ideas are just the tip of the iceberg. 
If you want a guy that's amazing with wall combos or ring outs or execution heavy styles, then Yoshi is your guy. Uh, dealing with lame play styles will always be an irritation for him, but the reward he gets once you're in more than makes up for it. You also got things like 9k to try and do all kinds of ring out options and wall combos and just generally evasive action. Uh, if you want to make lots of decisions and reads on your opponent in ways that you'll find rewarding, please trust me, you won't regret trying this guy out. But uh, yeah, let me know what your Yoshi adventure is going to be like. Do all the YouTube things, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next character, yeah? Thanks very much.